Hey friends, welcome to my Whimsical Bird 2. Um, Nikki and I are doing a live stream. She's actually not crafting in the stream. She's just kind of moderating it. Um, monitoring, however you say it. And doing the live stream and I'm on her stream. And so she wasn't uh, streaming today. And, or doing her table today because she was working on some other projects. Anyway, so I had two more birds left to go on my project and and um, this is my second bird. So I have three videos, three birds, there's my tea. I <laughs> um, got a new teapot or a cup and it's got a lid on it and it really made my tea last a lot longer throughout my crafting so it was pretty cool. So here I am again with my backing of my bird and it's basically the same as my last one I used my hole punch to punch through the card um, stock on there uh, it was a cardboard that was recycled from cracker box and I um, used my hole punch to get through the puzzle piece as well that card uh, it's actually chipboard is pretty tough and it worked really well I have my wing design and just kind of looking through different wings here to see which one I want to use for this particular bird. I have three different birds and three different wing, wing designs. So I decide on the one I want to use and I trace them out and cut them out. And that's what I do. Here I'm looking through some stuff that I scavenged through uh, the junk drawer in the kitchen and I found a bunch of stuff. And I thought, well, some of it, I have found a couple extra light bulbs and that kind of thing. And I thought, well, okay, that's a good theme to have in every bird as a light bulb. So I have a couple of things that are in each bird that um, I have a theme throughout each one. Is One is the light bulb. The second is, what was it? Oh, the letter B. I had a B on all my birds for bird. <laughs> and I thought that was really, really, really cute. So... Here I am ripping up some book paper, trying to get some of the white edges off her and the blank spaces out and that kind of thing. I use my decoupage from Deco Art. Always use that stuff, I love it. I'm using the matte one today and I'm just throwing that on the head and neck of my bird. Don't need to go all the way down, waste any product, just up to the neck part, just a little below the puzzle piece and my wings. I just cut out the leftover edges and that kind of thing so it works really nice. I like to put a bit of uh, gesso over it so then you can't really see the writing but you can and you don't, you know, it doesn't distract you from what's going on. I add paint on top of it anyways and all that kind of stuff. I just like doing it. This is my system. Drying up that gesso, sipping my tea. I, um, there I go, cutting my edges. I love drinking tea. I drink my tea just plain. Um, I prefer to have any kind of flavored tea to green teas, that kind of thing. I'm not really much of a red rose tea person or, you know, like the, what's that one? Um, I don't even know. I just like to have the kind of flavored or green tea and that kind of thing. So, but I do love my tea. And... There I am just trimming it up because I did do it a little bit bigger, which is really good so that you, you know, fits better. I put my wings on first. Here's my gessoing a little bit. And I gesso the puzzle piece as well. My head. <laughs> my bird. I'm using uh, tacky glue to tack on the wings from Aileen's tacky glue. And I need to get more tacky glue because I'm out almost. It's really like I'm shaking that bottle trying to get to the tip. <laughs> and here I am. I'm like chatting away on the stream, so I'm a little slow. <laughs> I didn't realize how slow I was. So I'm drying it up. Now, this is really funny because I forgot the first color of my bird. So I'm kind of painting along. I'm just doing a second coat on my puzzle, but I was painting along and I did not realize that. Um, I had my other bird upstairs to, to compare and I didn't want them all to look the same. I was kind of using some of the same colors so I had to change that. So I'll just show you that. Let's see here. So I got my teal out, I got my white, 
I keep playing with my tea. I'm going to keep drinking that. And I have this antique cream, which is really runny, but look at how nice it is. It's like it ages and antiques everything. It just looks so nice. So thin. And you can't accidentally blob it on where you, you can't see through. It's just really a great product. And that is from Deco Art. Then I use uh, the liquid acrylic on the teal. And I've got that going on in the wings. <laughs> Get more of that on there. And I really do love this color. And it was looking really cool. Really like it. Really cute guy. There's his little belly going, and I was really happy. I think I take out a little bit of orangey color or something like that. I don't even know what color that is. I guess we'll see. Put a little black on the edges. I think I was going to go for a little bit of a red belly, like a robin or something. That could be what I was going for. Blacking my edges a bit on there. <laughs> I use uh, my some of my scrap. Um, pa book paper to um, wet my fingers off and now I'm just going over some of the black with my white um, liquid acrylic paint and there we go so now I'm kind of got that little bit of balance more antiquing cream here and there oh and this is the bit of that ready orangey color just get the belly it's so funny. I was like, oh, I don't even know what my other bird looks like. So I'm getting to this point where I'm really liking this. And then I run upstairs to get my bird soon, my other one, my first one. A lot of white in there. I'm just going back and forth. Looking for some buttons and things to put on. There's a uh, bolt. And then... I think at this point I might have ran upstairs to go get my other bird and I did and I'm like oh no I'm using teal in this one and I got too much teal in this one <laughs> so then I went and put the peach right on top of everything as funny as that is so I decided oh no I can't have two teal birds so I do the peach all over with my paper I'm using book paper and it's a really soft thin book paper so I was able to just dab it really easily and I'm just trying to get some of it off a little bit so it's kind of pulling some letting some of the color come through in the bottom I got that white there to whiten up the belly area I <laughs> so I totally changed it so it happens I mean you can just totally change your design so I'm antiquing it again which is pretty awesome I was like oh too much of the same color and Nikki's like go for it lady change it so I did totally changed it put the antiquing cream around it again now he's a different bird <laughs> and my dogs are trying to bark so now I'm eight and I'm doing a little bit of black around the edges with my finger oops no 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 and having fun with that so it's easy enough for you to change totally change what you've done I like the color so much so I throw gold on top of it and I did like it but I'm like no I want different I want three totally different color birds so a peachy bird which is really cute so now I'm getting my stuff to stamp it up a bit to ink it and I'm using archival ink here and I'm using some numbers love that some different things here keys the little patterns there and that kind of thing and just really playing with that with and that's my inking up part here and I really like him he's so cute so I'm glad I changed his colors anyway here's a peach um, lace and that's one of the reasons why I like sandwiching it between the front and the back is that I can really get that lace in there and I don't have to worry about it sticking out in the back and it looks just a little bit more well done for me yeah hold that down a bit drinking my tea <laughs> it's a sticky situation but not sticky enough fast enough so I'm showing my other one and comparing <coughs> and I find these moon crescents and I was gonna put that on his chest and then I'm like oh wait there's another pair of earrings and I thought well, that would be cute feet so I re put the bead back on there and I'm like that's gonna be cute feet grab a couple of rings to add that on, I do look to see if I want other pieces of earring on there. 
and I find this nice earring. It almost looks like a shield of, uh, like a native shield or something. I really like it. It's really cool. So I find another buckle, which was in my first one as well. That's another thing that had common in the three birds, buckles. And I'm looking for something over his heart. And I have my flowers pulled out, buttons for his wings, like the first one. And I'm just really having fun with it this time as well. So I'm using these white flowers, roses. I have found a little ring that is like a brassy ring. It looks like rope, but it's small. And you can see it right on the bird's chest right now. And I decide to use that in there, but I grab this bottle cap. And this is one of those crafting ones that um, the other side has some kind of saying or something, but I use the, the open side up like a nest again. And I'm just doing a little gesso, black gesso on there, not to totally cover it. There's that burnt out light bulb. But I wanted that to be a bit of a nest there look. Putting those white roses on there. And then I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to fill up my little nest with. I have a piece of CD I think I put up in the top there. Oh, this is a little piece of m metallic looking rope, string. Uh, a golf tee just down in the bottom corner there. And then I'm going to find little beads here and I put some gold beads in there and I was just cutting them out there. And it's from like Christmas trim. And then there's that ring I had on the side. There's a bee uh, block um, bee which is a bead, a wooden bead and it's got a bee on it. I have different letters. Put some teal paint on a little bit of everywhere just to kind of make it work. I don't know. I like the teal. I was trying to do a, like a queen there, but I ended up putting that card back. I didn't like the the cutout card. Looking for the right number. I think that would look really cute. Hot glue that in there. So I put the bead in there. I put a couple other things in there and um, oh yeah, nice little button in the center that little ring that I was telling you about that looked like string but it was a uh, it was just smaller than the ball cap that's inside there so it's really cute a little black paint on everything and back and forth with the roses because I didn't want them all the way black and I didn't want them all the way white and I just wanted them painterly I had gold on them too I think so I like to add gold on everything you can see that <laughs> Gold finger is what Nikki calls me. Gold finger. So I do rub the gold everywhere. So this is my second card. It's basically done. I'm not card uh, bird, but I don't know. I was thinking about card because I look at that little card in the corner of his wing there. It's so cute. So I um, put little jewels around the light bulb, like I actually done on the other ones as well. Cleaning up my mess as well as I put his legs on the chain right here and I uh, put my links on and that kind of thing and I splatter some paint on everything after just to get everything combined kind of blend in so I do a little bit of the teal and a little bit of the white and I love it two beautiful birds this is my second one, so if you want to see my first one, just check out um, the. It's, it's going to be actually on a playlist. Um, these three little mini series. I'm going to do another one as well after this one. But these are so cute, mixed media, whimsical birds. There's my splashing of white. I think I do a splashing of teal as well, and just love it, loving it. This is just bobs and ends and things I've had lying around so long and I need to get rid of it. I need to have projects that are just maybe a little bit different just to play with and have fun and um, start getting rid of it so I can go yard sailing and garage sailing and pick up more bits and bobs <laughs> and have something more to hunt for. I think that's the best part of is treasure hunting. Thanks for watching everyone. Um, appreciate you guys watching and looking forward to the next bird. You've seen that little piece that I have coming up to do. So that's what's going to be. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Bye-bye.